Haishen is on course to hit South Korea early next week. By the time it gets here, the force of nature is expected to weaken. Still, it's projected to bring dangerous waves, heavy rainfall, and high winds to Jeju, then move directly to hit Seoul Monday evening. The third typhoon to hit the country in under two weeks. Experts point to climate change. Che jong yun explains further. Three typhoons in less than 10 days. It was a little over a week ago when Typhoon Bavi hit the peninsula, followed by Typhoon Maysak earlier this week. Now another one called Haishin is brewing south of Japan and is forecast to make landfall in Korea next Monday. The series of tropical storms comes after a record-breaking monsoon that lasted 54 days, the longest in recorded Korean history. Normally, Korea gets one or two typhoons in autumn. Last year, there were seven. One expert says the main reason for the increase is climate change. In all of South Korea's history, the weather has never been this turbulent. Climate change and global warming have changed many factors that actually generate typhoons and determine a storm's trajectory and strength. There are largely three factors. One, the anticyclones in the northern Pacific region, two, the temperature of the ocean surface surrounding the area, and lastly, the upper current that flows north of the peninsula from west to east. Usually in the fall, the anticyclone dissipates, allowing typhoons to veer toward the Japanese islands along its edge. But climate change has pushed the anticyclone further west, sending typhoons toward Korea. On the one hand, global warming has raised the temperature of the ocean, which makes typhoons stronger. Because warm seawaters generate energy as they evaporate and typhoons use that as fuel. Higher sea levels could also cause more damage along the coast from bigger waves. Future typhoons need to be watched closely. Recent studies show that the enormous amount of rainfall accompanying the typhoons will bring destructive flooding and landslides. She added that the world is feeling the climate change more acutely, which contributes to a higher frequency of natural disasters and threatens many lives. While prevention and recovery efforts are critical, now could be the time to take more fundamental action for the future. Choi Jong-yoon, Arirang News.